Hi guys, today you guys are going to be making a um, 3D art project with 3 inch squares. You should be able to um, learn and fold the two folds I'll be teaching you today. Um, you should use two colors in your project with two different types of construction paper or two different colors of construction paper and you should have some symmetry in your artwork. Your guys' focus set today should be that you guys should be able to learn two different types of folds to make a piece of paper 3D and you should be able to create a project with symmetry using two different colored of construction paper and this will help you learn what symmetry is. The materials that you guys are going to need to use today are a piece of white construction paper, three different colors of three different or two at least two different colors of three inch squares, a pair of scissors, and a glue stick. Okay. The activity procedures are I'm going to have construction paper, glue, and scissors ready in the middle of the tables with the three inch squares already cut out for the students. Um, I'll begin by introducing the topic of 3D and explain the difference between 3D and 2D. Um, I'll explain the activity, explain that we'll, they will be creating folds in little three inch pieces of paper to create um, a 3D image by gluing it onto a piece of paper. I'll explain each of the two folds. Um, I'll have each student create at least one of the one of each of the folds so I can so they can see how to do it. Then I will begin the activity and help out where they're needed and then we'll clean up the scraps afterwards. The concerns with this are that there is going to be a lot of scrap pieces of paper because not all of the three inch squares will be perfect so they're going to have to cut off little edges if they're not perfect to make them a perfect square so there will be a lot of scrap paper on the floor so I will have to have students help clean that up afterwards as well as um, after all the other like people are done I'll have each student um, help out clean up. I will evaluate the students by making sure they use both of the folds I taught them, um, as well as using at least two different colors in their project with the construction paper. Um, I will also have, I will also assess how they clean up and make sure that they were like on task and doing what they were supposed to be doing. The extension or variation with this is this could also go along with math because there's symmetry involved and in geometry that's a big part of it. Okay, starting off, I am going to be telling you what 2D and 3D are. 2D is something that would be flat on the paper. So this paper by itself is 2D. If I were to draw something on it, that would also be 2D. Something that is 3D is it will pop off the, t off the page. So if I were to put this on here, this would be 3D. Okay, we will start off this project by folding the paper so we can find the center of the paper for the symmetrical lines that we need. You'll start off by creating a taco shape and going across like this. And then the same thing the other way. And then you will fold like this. And the same thing the other way. And this will show you where the center of your paper is. Okay, so these are the two folds that you guys will need to learn, and I will be teaching you them. This is called the kite fold, and this is called little envelope fold. So how to make the kite fold is you take the paper, and you will do it taco style, so from corner to corner. And there might have to be some trimming of the edges because all the papers might not um, be perfect, so that's where your scissors will come in. So you'll take the scissors and you'll just cut off the little edge to make that a perfect little square. After that is cut off, you will take um, one of the corners and take it to the middle, which will create a sharp edge up here at top and you'll do the same thing with the other side and that will create the kite fold. I will do one more of those to show you that. So again you'll go corner to corner and you'll have to cut off the excess if it isn't perfect. And then you will take the one corner, 
to the middle. And again with the other side. And there's another kite fold. And this is the next fold that we will be doing and I will show you it. You're gonna go and you're gonna fold it like this, just across. And then while it's folded, you're gonna fold it again. And then you'll open it up. And you wanna make sure that the opening is down for the next fold. And you're gonna take the corner and you're gonna go across to the center. And then you're gonna do that on the same thing on the other side. And that's what the fold will look like. And I'll show you another one. Again, you're gonna go across like this. And there's a little piece that you need to trim off. And then while it's folded, you're gonna fold again. Then open it up, make sure the fold is down. And you're gonna take this to the center. And then you're gonna take the other side to the center. And this one wasn't perfect, so I'll trim off the edge. And that's that. All right, since we found the middle of the paper, we're now going to take the ones that we made a kite fold in. And we're going to take it and we're gonna put it just like this. So I'm going to take my glue stick and glue the back of it. And then it's going to be glued right from the tip in the center. It's going to be glued like that. And then we're going to take the next one and we're going to glue the back as well. And it's going to go right next to it and be glued down. And that's going to continue all the way around. Okay, now I have all of these place down you can see that they're 3d because they're popping off the page now we're going to take this fold and we're going to place it in here you're going to need eight of these because we did eight of the purple ones there is a lot of different things that you can do you could have started out with these and done only four of them and then put these inside but because we did the eight of these we're going to need eight of these so i'm going to glue again the back side of it and we're going to put the corner inside. And again, glue the back side and put the corner inside. And I'm going to continue to do that. So this is what it looks like once the yellow got put all the way around there. And it's again 3D and put in there. So now we're going to take the pink and we're gonna put it inside like this. You can also, if you want to, you can put two side by side and then go all the way around. Right now, I'm just gonna do one. Okay, so now we're going to take the glue the back side again and put it in perfectly like that. And again, glue the back side and put it inside like that and continue that all the way around. So this is what the finished product should look like. You can see that it is 3D because this would be 2D with it just being flat and this is 3D since you can see it and it pops up above. So we're gonna learn about symmetry now. The symmetry is that you can fold the paper any way and it will still look the same. So I could fold it like this and it would be the exact same on the other side. I can fold it diagonally, it would be the exact same on the other side. Any fold you would make, it'd be the exact same. And that's what symmetry looks like. And this is what it should look like. Alright, so there's going to be some cleanup that you guys have to do. There's going to be some scrap pieces of paper that you guys are going to have to clean up now. And there's also going to probably be some glue on the table. So you're going to want to get a rag and clean that off. 
Right now I'm going to come around and make sure that you guys added both folds into your project as well as adding at least two colors. You could have used whatever colors you wanted and you could have done any of the patterns you wanted as well. I know I showed you one of the patterns but you could have added them in different ways as well. So I hope you guys had fun with this project and have a great day.